Which one? We're not going to be at a zero zero hope but Croco's coming up here. <laughs> Usually you see this in the bottom lane, but uh, he's trying to force the flash and he's not even going to be successful at that. The Lucian and the Zeri, they're both going to be looking for a completely different path as okay, Croco. Looks like Meryl might have been in the shop there, a little bit slow of a... Okay, Croco's actually going to be the one that gets engaged upon. First Blood will go to... Not hiding the plan very well. Joshik has six now. This is a scary moment. And Joseph just gonna try to start this fight. The Nautilus not that tanky at this moment in time. He is really trying to bait this one in as, yes, that is the kill. Hand it over to Zekka. And now the Frozen Thrall is coming out here. Liv Sandbox still considering fighting, which I do not so You drop a Herald down there, that lane is over. Uh-oh, Closer coming in with his team looking for this one as Pioshik still has Flash, but it's a 3v2 in favor of Liv Sandbox. Zekka gonna ult himself up, has his Flash, elects not to use it this time around. Is Pioshik going to miss the Sonic Wave now? He's going to have to get out of here. Has the Rift Herald, doesn't have a ward he can hop Bad. to because... What you can do to stop that. Liv Sandbox now going to get the second break, it looks like, here to even things up. That is a juicy Nami just out there looking to bait this one. Prince gets a ultimate off, but not before the Nautilus goes down. As now collapsing on in, Pioshik with Smite available. Croco incredibly low, another missed Sonic Wave, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, is, it does start to feel like... Um, that was more of a sign of Genji as Croco. Yeah. Do agree. Barrel is not in a great spot. Looks like he is free uh, fish food here. As Prince the is going motions. to uh, namely ruler, just not care about turrets or anything and just look for blood. This is something else to mention. Um, so two things here. First, okay, we're... Death is Three things. Old. We have a fight in the bottom <laughs> lane. <laughs> and there is a uh, Croco. Coming down to the bottom side as well, as Deft is really trying to make this work. Now he's going to kill Prince, just like that. They say, no, nope, we're just going to handle this Lucian, no biggie. And now that Krakos here, they can, the control but... control is so much easier for them with this Wukong, obviously. And uh, this is going to be a Deft calling here. And then, unfortunately, they don't wait for Kyle to actually get a really nice engage. I guess he does ult here. Yeah. But he doesn't hit a hook, he doesn't get a root, and then Def just Have plays ring around the rosy. He's doing some alcove gaming. But here, here we go. go. Yeah. That's that engage <laughs> from screens away, and Prince is going to have his shield bow procced as Yoshik goes way too deep, but it's fine, I guess, because he zones everybody away from peeling for Prince. It's a one for one, but the Zeri is down. Def still shelling damage. And all of these melee champs can't do much against Lucian, especially now that they can't re-engage. Kingen also right, extremely so that is it. And until the Zeri has three items, her Extendo Beam isn't going to be enough to clear these waves very quickly, isn't going to be enough to actually trade back in these neutrals. Uh, we have Liv Sandbox doing Baron. Yeah, that and is crazy. It is crazy. They do have an Azir and a Zeri eventually. Now, if they have enough time, they can eventually take this down. There is zero vision. Now there are a bunch of pings going on this, but I think it's too late. I think Liv Sandbox should sneak it. Yep, complete Baron sneak here. And no objective to fight for here, Liv Sandbox. Be very careful about how you group. Oh no, that's going to be another missed hook here. Kyle is getting slowed up, hit by the tidal wave. That is a dead Nautilus. Now 5v4, Prince is over the wall, getting a little bit of damage done, but it doesn't look like nearly enough as ultimates are thrown in. Prince has to sail away as he is trying desperately to try to kite this out, but look at DRX, they're just a five-man unit, and now Closer's going to get isolated. Dub looks to potentially get isolated as well. Zekka's got another claw on the way. And that extra movement speed is going to be enough. That is four members. Oh, no, actually only three. As it looks like Dove will not burn down. But a three kill win here for DRX. Oh, no. Oh, oh. oh Gale Force procs onto oh, I him. I would like to see the Ludens. Just, okay, King in. Yeah, and I, I think he's totally fine. At this point, he uh, is... I think it could have been any scaling AD carry. It could have been Jinx in this game that Prince is playing, and the result would have been about the same. Yeah. King in here, no flash, but he is still incredibly confident, but he's got everybody from Lip Sandbox on his back here. As DRX, they do provide a front line for death, but not nearly enough as Gosic's also going to go down. They're feeding extra kills. And now here comes the rest. Hexec Gate's going to help out a lot with this. As DRX, they might just go for a flip. Croco is right over the wall here. You got to be careful about this engage potential from Liv Sandbox. As in they go, and it's going to go the way of Pilsic, though. 
Meganar is timing out at the same time. Cully gets huge value onto Krako as Kyle kind of goes in alone. And now, ultimate it up is closer into the bubble. In goes Doshik. They can't kill him though. As Blessing it is stepped straight into Prince's open arms. And down he will go. They are feeding kills over to Live Sandbox. DRX cannot get out of here either. As Piosik and Zeka, they are actually going to 3v1. Dove, who's so... trying to keep them alive and around. As Krako going to dodge, Prince is just shooting fish in a barrel here, able to cleanse off the exhaust. Double kill extra for him, make it a triple. I, I think that was actually, in this case, a little bit greedy. Like, you didn't have to do that. And now you're kind of running out of time here as Piosik gets on top of Closer, who does not have Flash, who's going to have that war, and he's coming onto it. Oh, this is... Really aggressive from closer though. I mean, he's going straight in to the rest of them. Kingen is getting isolated though. He is almost definitely dead. Another kill over to Prince who has seven now. You could, you could set it up really wherever you want. And it really shores up part of the weakness that closer has here, obviously with this Azir build. Well. As he actually really does a great job of killing out here. Sets up the bait really nicely and uh, has a stopwatch even in his inventory doesn't need to use. And the, the plan of attack for Live Sandbox throughout this mid-game, despite being massively behind, is search and destroy King and find him, isolate him, and blow him up, because they can buy so much time in the rest of the fight, obviously, with Cyclone, which is what Closer does on the other side of this one. But yeah. it's going to be difficult. DRX, they need to engage, otherwise they're just going to get poked down. Look at how difficult it is to clear these control wards. Okay, Closer, he's got a crown. That's what it's for. Azeka is going to survive in this one. They attempt to set up and engage with a little bit lackluster. Kyle is able to frontline as now Prince with that ultimate is just getting on in there. Nice kick from Pyoshik, but it's a little bit too little too late. They're able to just bully their way through this turret. Closer looking for whatever that was, but it is going to select the kill. Yes, but well, we all know how likely that would have been. I mean, this is just Closer pulling the aggro once again, shuffling back, gets ulted by Lissandra, which I think is a huge mistake from Zekka. There's no follow-up damage here, and now you don't have any heal. You know, Ring of Frost is going to do a little bit for you under this turret, but meanwhile... Okay, we got a fight. Looks like there is an isolated piggy, but also barrel pretty low. Krako trying to get the damage into death, but he's not quite able to close the gap. A stopwatch is going to be used here as well as the GA, but it's just Krako buying time again. It's what Yoshik did early on in the game, but actually it's just Krako this time around. As here comes Zeri. Uh, see you later, two hit onto the Lissandra, and down goes the Nar. The Zeri moment happened, and now all of a sudden she's 11 and two. There's not really much that DRX have to handle the damage of this sandbox. Yeah, I just want the Speed Racer song to be parodied with uh, here, he, here she comes, here comes the Zeri. <laughs> 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 She's a demon on wheels. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay, I mean, there's just no defending this anymore. Liv Sandbox, they pulled it off in the mid game. Yeah, absolutely. Huge turnaround for them as they make their late game sustained damage really work for them. They really just held on for an impressive amount of time and that's all they needed. じゃあ残りや。え、もうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうもうも